Hello and welcome to the Shopahu Incorporated Office Supply Distributor. So here we have a login page. If there was a previous account set up, then you would go ahead and enter your credentials here and click the login button. If by any chance you entered an incorrect email or incorrect password, then you will be met by an error message that says login failed. So for the purpose of this, tutorial let us go ahead and create a new account so let us try to see if we can create the account with no fields entered ensure all fields have been filled so you need to make sure that all the fields have been filled so let us go ahead and create a test user so for instance for this test user we shall create spongebob and then our email will be spongebob at yahoo.com then we enter a password and then we can click create account we must note that the only accounts that are able to be created are customer accounts there is only one main seller account and we will visit that account uh, later so let us go ahead and enter the new user that we just created and then we can go ahead and click login so upon login we're met with the product list and here we can either double click on an item and we will get a pop-up window with the full description as well as a price what is how much is currently in stock and then we can go ahead and enter the quantity that we want to add to our cart but before we add anything to our cart let's go ahead and search for an item for instance let us search for pens and here we have the item pens and from here we can also add to cart let's say i don't want pens anymore let's get some sticky notepads and then here in the pop-up window, let us try to get 52 sticky notepads. Uh-oh, now we're met with an error message that says only 50 in stock. So let's go ahead and put 10 sticky notes. And then we're going to add to cart. Then we're met with a message that says added to shopping cart. So we can go ahead and close this full description window. And let's say I also need some binders. So let us also try to add 20 binders perfect add it to shopping cart and then we can go ahead and close this window as well all right so now that we're satisfied with all that's in our shopping cart let us go ahead and click on the shopping cart to view the items that we added excuse my technical difficulty so here in our shopping cart, we see the two items that we added from the product list, as well as the quantity, the price, and their UBC numbers. If, for instance, that we get to the shopping cart and we want to add more items, we can just simply click on the Shopahu button. So here we're back to the product list. So let's go ahead and add some papers. So we can put in the quantity. Let's get five papers add to cart and then we can close this window and let's go back to our shopping cart so here we have the added items of papers that we just added to the cart so now that we're satisfied with everything let us go to the checkout so here in the checkout page we can go ahead and enter a credit card number our name and the required information on the credit card but let's say oh no we forgot to add some tape so let's click on the Shopahu button here we have tape let's double click on tape and let us buy all 123 tapes click add to cart let's go to the shopping cart so here is our newly added item tape now let's say how about we try to add some pens to our shopping cart let's go back to the shop button 
we can note that since we added all the tape, the quantity was updated to zero. So we can no longer add any more tape. So if we try to add any more tape, so let's say we want two tapes, tape is out of stock. So let's go ahead and add pens. Let's do two pens. Add it to shopping cart. Now let's go to our shopping cart. Now I am satisfied with everything in my cart. I will go to checkout. So here on checkout, now we can enter our credit card number. And put our name. SpongeBob. The expiration date. And then once everything is correct, we can go ahead and select submit order. Once we submit order, we're met with a thank you page and also in the background, the product list page. From here, we can always log out and then we're back on the login page. Now, let us go ahead and visit the seller account. So the main seller account is set to seller at shopahoo.com and the password is seller. Let's go ahead and log in. Here on the login page, we have the current inventory and some options to log out, add a product, remove a product, or view our finances. So as we said before, when we added all the tape, as you can see here, the quantity was updated to zero. So let us go ahead and remove tape from the inventory. So let's click on remove product. So here we're going to be able to enter the UPC to remove. So let us find the UPC number for tape. So here we have tape, the UPC is 108. One, we're going to click remove product. So here we see that the tape has been removed from our inventory. And it also gives you an update message product tape removed. So let us now go back. And now we as we said as I said before, there is no tape in the inventory. So let's go ahead and add a product. So here we have the add product pop-up window. Let us go ahead and add a office chair. The UPC number will be 555. Let's say the invoice price is what the seller paid to get this item. So let us say, for instance, we paid $20 for this item and we're going to sell it for $100. And also how many of these chairs do we have in stock? Let's go ahead and say 20. And then we can go ahead and enter a product description and we can say a wheeled four wheeled office chair now that we're done adding our product we can go ahead and click add into inventory so now we see here a newly added item, the office chair for $100 and 20 in stock. Okay, so now let's go ahead and visit our finance page to see how much money we've made so far. So here we have three, three columns, profit, revenues, and cost. So we have our profit, which is the revenues minus cost. Then the revenue is basically the total sales of all time and then the cost is how much we have paid for each item in the inventory so so far we've made a $205.70 profit so let's now go back to the inventory now that we're finished adding and removing to our inventory and we've also reviewed our finances let's go ahead and log out so that is the conclusion of our Shopuhu incorporated tutorial Thank you for shopping with us and I will see you later. Thank you.